Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 26, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 6. What did the mountains do? As we get to God's second message that he gave to Ezekiel to give to the people of Israel, we may ask the question, what did the mountains do? Did they do anything wrong? The quick answer to that is no. The mountains didn't do anything wrong. The mountains do exactly what God wants them to do. However, it is what the people did on the mountains that God is really going to address. From Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 1, The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face toward the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them and say, You mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains and the hills and to the ravines and the valleys. Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you and I will destroy your high places. Notice the high places. This is a reference to the altars that the people built on these mountains and valleys, not to worship the Almighty God, but to worship other things or ideas, basic idol worship, you could say. Verse 4, your altars shall become desolate, and your incense altars shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain before your idols, and I will lay the dead bodies of the people of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your altars. Well, it seems like there's a little bit of sarcasm going on here on God's behalf. Because if you have an idol, an idol is something you trust in, something you look to as a source of protection, something you put your faith in. So are you trusting in the Almighty God to protect and guard you and keep you and provide for you? And by the way, God is the only true God? Then you are worshiping the true God. But if you are worshiping a false or fake idol, then God is basically saying, who's going to win? God is going to then scatter their bodies in front of these fake altars. The take-home point, there is only one true God. And so we believe and trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus is our source of protection. Jesus is the giver of all good things. And so as Christians... We just focus our attention to Jesus. Verse 6, wherever you dwell, the cities shall be waste and the high places ruined so that your altars will be waste and ruined, your idols broken and destroyed, your incense altars cut down and your works wiped out and the slain shall fall in your midst and you shall know that I am the Lord God. Again, God will do this for the purpose so that everyone will know there's only one true God. Everything else is fake or false. Verse 8, yet I will leave some of you alive when you have among the nations some who escape the sword and when you are scattered through the countries, then those of you who escape will Remember me among the nations where they are carried captive, how I have been broken over their whoring heart that has departed from me and over their eyes that go a whoring after their idols, and they will be loathsome in their own sight for the evils that they have committed for all their abominations." Did you pick up the idea that God knows that they will be loathsome in their own sight? That means they will realize their sin. And at this point, the law of God has worked their purpose. Now repentance needs to take place and they need to return to a God who truly does love them. Verse 10, and they shall know that I am the Lord. I have not said in vain that I would do this evil to them. God is reaffirming this is not an empty threat. God is real. 
not a figment of our imagination, and God hates sin. Yes, there will be a remnant for the purpose of glorifying God, but it will be a small remnant. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for listening, and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.